there, this is Lady Shell. I'm here to introduce you to my new series called Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with their own description in the title, so that you can look at this playlist and pick and choose which ones interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They are all between 3 minutes and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting. I'm aiming my tips to, at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now we are going to be talking today about maps and let me make sure I am showing you the right one. Yes, I am. Uh, We're going to be showing about how to resize a map when you're in the game. Now I've loaded up my character, a Carrie LaRue, and you can see her up here. She's a little sea elf and here is her sheet. Now, if I was playing in a game, this is how I would set up my table. I would have my sheet right here next to the combat tracker and the chat window, which leaves this space for map, any maps that the DM would send to me. Now, I'm going to go into my DM screen and I'm going to share a map with Akiri. And you will see the map pop up on her page and wow it's a big map isn't it it takes up the whole page now keep in mind that I am on a 17 inch monitor uh, I'm on a laptop so I don't have a ton of space on my on my uh, table so I'm definitely going to want to resize this maybe someone with a really big monitor might not have such a problem with this but I think everybody pretty much is going to have to resize this map. So to resize a map you will right click with your mouse on the map and you have some options here. You have a pointers option which uh, is, we're not using that. You have a closed window which no you want the window open because you want to see the map. You have something called minimize. That's going to make it into a little uh, round icon about the size of this round circle. You don't want that. You want the map small, but you want it to be viewable, not to be just uh, an icon on the, ta on the table. You have resize, which sounds very helpful. Uh, and then the last one is drawing. And that's like if you were drawing on the map, like, directions or whatever you need to draw on the map. So I'm going to click on resize. There's a couple different ways that you can resize this map or any map that you get in the game. So I'm going to click first click on resize with my left mouse uh, button and there are some options up here. This says small size. This says original size. Well we're at the original size so you know that won't be fair, helpful. Then you have adjust the vertical and adjust the horizontal. Now the first way I'm going to show you how to resize the map is to take it and just click on small size. Now this small size is nice but it's still too small to use so I'm going to line it up with the top of my sheet and then I'm going to go to the right side of my map and I'm going to left click on my um, on the map and stretch it then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom of the map whoops I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom of the map so that I have it now I've got a nice size and you can um, uh, zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel so I'm going to zoom in and zoom out and this is set to this size now now, if you wanted to move around this map, you see this little square down at the bottom with the four points on the side. If you left click on that, well, that isn't going to help. Uh, let me first zoom in. If you left click on it, now we can scroll. I'm holding my left mouse button down and I'm like uh, 
dragging it across the table to what part of the map I want to show. And again, you can zoom in and out. So that was one size. Uh, one way to resize. The second way is I'm going to go back and I'm going to put it to the original size. So this is the size that I got from the DM. I'm going to start. This is a second method of doing it is right click again, choose resize. And this time we're going to adjust the, you know, I think I'm going to now I'll adjust the vertical. So that means I'm going to go down. This nap is way too tall. I have to go. I'm I'm left clicking and scrolling up. I probably should have adjusted the horizontal. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put my my mouse pointer at the very bottom of the map and I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it up to make it shorter. And again, I'm going to make it so that it so that it's uh about the right height. Continue until it fits on your screen. This is a very large map and I have a very small screen. So we move up and we're almost there. Just a little bit um, more. Okay, so now I've got my vertical. Now let's adjust the horizontal. So again, resize and adjust the horizontal. And now it automatically readjusts the horizontal and it, it uh, will give you, um, it will give you the uh, right dimensions. It rescales the dimensions. So I want it a little wider. So I will make it a little bit wider. And that is the second method to do it. I probably should have done the horizontal before the vertical because that took a lot of extra time there. I think actually the going for the small size and then just adjusting it as you need. And again, I can scroll in and out with the mouse wheel. So uh, you can pick and choose which way that you want to do it, but that's how you would resize a map while you're in a game. And I hope that this was helpful to you. I gave you two methods of how to do it. And um, I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of my tips. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.